One of the reasons uh, the manufacturer brings the digital manufacturing week every year to Liverpool is the gentleman sitting right next to me, Simon Reid. That's very kind of you to say, Nick. Head of Advanced Manufacturing at the Liverpool LEP. Simon, this is a great, a great week we've had here. Uh, why is it that Liverpool is so successful at driving this investment in manufacturing in the northwest? I think it, I know it's probably a bit of a corny thing to say, but I, I do generally think it's down to the people. Um, you know, anyone who spent any time in Liverpool will know that um, there's, a, there's a very particular type of person um, that likes a challenge, maybe doesn't conform to the norms. Um, it's the Irish gene in us, I think, that makes us a bit, a bit non-conformist. But I think what it also does, it gives you that um, culturally, we have that that ability to look for something different. So I think when digital manufacturing came along and it was thought to be a bit of a hype by certain people in other parts of the country, I think we definitely looked at it and thought, hang on a sec, we've got a very thriving digital cluster here, the legacy of a sort of gaming uh, industry that was here for many years. We've got a very established traditional, in a sense, manufacturing cluster here. Wouldn't it be really good to put those two things together? Well, I, you, you've hit upon something that's really, really interesting there. Sam Turner, who's the uh, the head of the uh, chief technical officer at the High Value Manufacturing Catapult, I remember him saying that if we could attract some of the digital talent that's working in fintech and gaming yeah. and get them into manufacturing, then it would turbocharge our ability to digitalize in this country. Yeah. You appear to be doing that in Liverpool. You seem to have cracked it. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah, it, it's not been easy um, to try and get um, sort of you know tech companies, gaming companies in particular, to to look at manufacturing as a potential new market um, has taken some education. So we, we've had to work extremely hard with our digital community. Uh, to sort of show them manufacturing as, as, as a growth opportunity. Of course, the other challenge, Nick, is that a lot of digital companies are very small and manufacturing requirements are very large. So there is a, there is a danger that even if they can provide technical services, that the scale that manufacturing works at can sometimes drown them. Um, but it's going to take time. Isn't it? I mean, the, we, nothing's going to change overnight. But the fact is that uh, by, by really putting your hand up, putting the fl flying the flag for digital in Liverpool, you're, you're enabling everybody or anybody who wants to move. You, it's, you, you're acting as an enabling agency, if I can put it that way. Absolutely. And, you know, and I think the, um, we've had some really good engagement with tech companies. So you know, through the, we've had an LCR 4.0 Solutions Theatre here for Digital Manufacturing Week. And in that, we've showcased over the whole two days you know, really innovative companies that are working in data analytics, working in machine learning, working in robotics, cobotics, hydrogen production. You know, it's absolutely amazing. And they're all small, agile companies, um, but with a real hunger to grow. I, I think that the, the North West has overtaken the West Midlands as the, the largest contributor to manufacturing GDP in this country. Yeah. And from the sound of it, that's going to continue. Um, but. If, if somebody from another region in the UK was to say to you, and they quite possibly do, Simon, what, is, what does it take to, to add a bit of a rocket to your manufacturing sector? What would you say to them? I, I would say an evangelist. Um, and it's, that's not me saying that. That is, uh, so that we, we have an advanced manufacturing board and he, uh, he, he is a sort of UK MD for process, and, for process technologies at Siemens. So he travels all over the country and he meets LEPs and, uh, from all over the country. And uh, a lot of people say to him, what, what, what do we need to do to really, um, to really grow manufacturing in our region? And he always says, you need a Simon Reid. And, what, and, what, and I, I don't say that in terms of, like, wow, look at me, I'm great. What he actually means is you need an evangelist. You need someone whose absolute passion is, grow, is to grow that sector and who will stop at nothing to, uh, to see that sector grow and also has that sort of like peripheral vision to say, well, I, I can't, yes, we could do the same, we could do more of the same, but it's more of the same enough in the modern world. Yeah. Well, Simon, congratulations on attracting us. I mean, yes. This is our second year here in Liverpool and it's proved an absolutely brilliant experience. Nick, I, 
in terms of wanting, in terms of affecting change, I want you to never leave. <laughs> I'd like to be sitting here in ten years' time saying it's the end of our first decade in Liverpool. How do you think it went? Well, I'll make certain I get a microphone on my Zimmer frame. <laughs> yeah. Simon Reed, many thanks indeed. Thanks, Nick. Cheers.